Hello, it must be Thursday. Hope you are in an air conditioned place or enjoying the heat if you like that. So, but today what we want to do is to welcome the new parish coordinator uh, to uh, St. John's here. His name is Mr. James John, and he comes to us with uh, a lot of different experiences throughout the world. And so, uh, James, we'd like to welcome you to you uh, St. John's. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, thank you, Father, uh, first of all, providing me opportunity to work with uh, St. John Parish. Uh, I have worked uh, uh, almost more than 20 years uh, in the non-profit uh, organizations uh, internationally. I worked in Pakistan uh, uh, for 14 years with Norwegian Church Aid and also more than 8 years with the Catholic Relief Services. So my last position was working uh, uh, with Norwegian Church Aid as a Deputy Country Director. So we were helping uh, local non-government organizations in Pakistan, providing financial assistance and technical support uh, for various community development projects. And we were helping both secular organizations as well and also church-based organizations as well uh, while we were providing uh, resources to them. Uh, my daughter uh, came here uh, five years ago uh, to study in US and uh, my wife also came and she started doing job. And uh, in December uh, 20, uh, I also came to US and joined them. And my daughter is studying in uh, Kansas University uh, in her graduate school. So that is the reason that I came here and uh, to US to, to rejoin the family. So it's a family reunion. And uh, so thank you very much for providing the opportunity to serve at the church. So I'm looking forward to have a very productive time at St. John Parish. Mm -hmm. In your um, resume, you have something about Norway. Yeah. Did you spend time in Norway or? Uh, yes, for different uh, training uh, opportunities and also for uh, uh, different uh, international meetings. So we were visiting almost two to three times a year. Uh, every, every year we were going to Norway for different meetings and different training uh, programs which were organized uh, by our head office. Did you enjoy your time with Catholic Relief Services? Yeah, that was the, my first international job and uh, that uh, pro uh, provided me a foundation uh, uh, how, to, how to work in uh, non-profit uh, non organizations and especially how to, uh, how to, under to understand the development work and also to respond to different uh, uh, emergency responses, uh, especially related to floods, earthquakes. Uh, and civil disorder. Dis, uh, disorder. Mm -hmm. So you had to organize a lot of different, uh, uh, different uh, helping agencies and things like that nature. Yeah. And how to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were building capacity of also local organizations uh, on how to have their uh, different policies and procedures and uh, have a trained staff, uh, especially we are focusing a lot on transparency and accountability and also the quality of uh, the, the projects uh, which were implementing uh, through the local partners. So we were investing a lot in capacity building of the local organizations as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know the Catholic Relief Services uh, was very active in Eritrea when I was there and I, I just had a lot of respect for Catholic Relief Services. Yeah. Uh, they, they do help a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, and that is great. Um, mm -hmm. Just let me uh, uh, mention about Catholic Relief Services. It was one of the pioneer organizations in Pakistan from, uh, uh, when Pakistan was established in 1947. And uh, the, the first two organizations which were invited uh, to work in Pakistan, it was Catholic Relief Services and uh, Church World Service. So both had a very special agreement with the government of Pakistan. They provided tax-free status to these organizations. They were importing a lot of uh, uh, food aid materials and uh, other uh, other different uh, program uh, related uh, inputs which we are distributing to different uh, Catholic institutions, Christian institutions and also the secular institutions. Great. Yeah. And I hear your daughter has started 
<coughs> excuse me, is studying for her doctorate. Yeah, she is a uh, student of PhD, and um, her subject is uh, cancer biology. Okay, that is um, much needed. Uh, the area of cancers. Hopefully, they'll find cures. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, James, um, I, um, I'm hoping that you enjoy the job here. It's good to have you. And uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, what your offices have been like in the international work, but uh, uh, hopefully our little cubbyhole of an office is going to be okay for you. No, it is uh, almost similar to the offices where I have worked uh, in Pakistan and mostly in the beginning uh, uh, most of the offices were uh, in the rent uh, in the different uh, residential areas and those were different courses taking on rent mm -hmm. and offices were established there so it looks very similar to, to the same environment oh okay uh, very good yeah. and um, you still have family in Pakistan I have brothers and sisters uh, are all based in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a big family? Yeah, it was a big family. A pure Catholic family. <laughs> we were 11 brothers and sisters. Oh, uh, 11, okay. And six brothers and uh, uh, five sisters. Uh, two, two of my sisters uh, at, uh, expired uh, last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, very good. James, uh, Welcome aboard, and we look Thank forward to uh, your work with us. And uh, so, and I'm sure the people will be meeting you as we go along, and um, uh, and they'll be calling you for space to meet. I'm sure. Okay. So thank you very much, Father, for providing me opportunity to uh, work with the church. So okay. I'm really looking forward. I will be having a very productive. Uh, uh, work experience here. Okay. Uh, so I will try my best to use my experience and skills which I have gained from my previous employers and Norwegian Church here and also Catholic uh, Relief Services. Okay, great. Very good. Um, well, things are moving along here. Um, uh, James is with us now and uh, the summertime, uh, different projects are we're trying to wrap up different projects around the church and uh, hopefully um, we're waiting for a rain day to get the uh, hole in the ceiling in the church uh, fixed and uh, they work outside and but if there's rain they can work inside so they'll be here whenever it rains so uh, that is good news and um, hope a lot of people are in and out of vacations. Hope you have a vacation that is a good one, relaxing for you. And uh, I'm hoping to get away sometime in August and um, go eat some peaches. So um, have a great day. Stay cool or stay hot if you wish. Thanks. Take care. Bye now.